Uh, there's a couple of changes there. Um, obviously, uh, due to one in Volvo, had an issue with his ankle, still recovering from that. Um, uh, we had a uh, Masaki Nongi had a HIA, and uh, Samatoaki came in for, uh, for him. So those were the two two changes to the team. We've gone for uh, consistency with our selections, and uh, yeah, looking forward to the match. Are you expecting from Georgia? Oh, it's going to be a physical game. Um, we we know them quite well. We play them quite often. Um, very proud team. Uh, they'll come out, be very physical, um, set pace. It'll be a big big challenge as well. So yeah, we uh, we understand the challenges in front of us. Cheers, Zach. Um, you guys are every French fan's uh, second favorite team. Do you feel it? Like do you feel the support? And how do you explain you guys are so so popular in France? Oh uh, yeah, well, we definitely feel the support. You can hear it at the stadiums, and we're very appreciative of it. We've obviously got our fans that travel very well, but uh, I think we have a real connection with France. Uh, obviously, Weiss is here. I've played here. I've lived in France for 11 years, so we have a we have a connection with uh, with France and the French people. And I think with their influence within the top 14 and the Pro de Deux, there's a there's a connection there. So I think uh, yeah, I, th I think it's got a lot to do with how the boys play. Uh, the spirit that they play in. Uh, so yeah, it, it, we, we definitely feel the support and we appreciate it. Same question for, for you. You've been playing here for in France for a very long time. Do you feel something special about being here? Every day. Yeah. France is special. Special place and uh, yeah, happy to to be in here and uh, to play uh, Rugby World Cup here in France with uh, great support from the people. And uh, yeah. Thanks for their support as well. Right, Tom, you've had a big break between the last game and this game. Um, some people might say the, the first two games were, were the bigger of the two. Is there any danger of um, perhaps underestimating, uh, no. or is that not a mindset that comes into the competition? We don't listen to what other people think about the matches. Uh, we take one match at a time and we respect each team that we play, and we, there's no Harder or easier games. Georgia is a very, very tough team. So we've we've had that, that mindset since we started, just taking one task at a at a time. Um, I think the 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 break came at a, a good time. The boys are we're a little bit tired and uh, good to have mentally re refresh, and we've we prepared well this week. So yeah, we've uh, we've gone into this week understanding what the challenge is, and we're prepared for that. Anything particular you've been doing um, that's a little bit different to to, to get that fresh up? Um, yeah, I, I think we we recovered well last week. Gave the boys a couple of days off, um, just so they could freshen up and get away from uh, not get away from the rugby, but just have not been able to have to think and train every day. Uh, so we freshened them up last week. Um, the great thing about this team, uh, we've asked them from the beginning when we when we work, we work, and they've uh, they've come in uh, really well. Had a good training session today, so yeah, we've got one. Uh, we've got the captain's run tomorrow, and uh, yeah, looking forward to the match. So about the Fiji Drua, uh, your team in Super Rugby, yeah. how much of an F is it to have a team in Super Rugby playing intense match every week for for, for the national team now? And well, yeah, it's it's very good. It's only it's very young and it's. Uh, his development only to the second year, so but we've already seen improvements, and you can see with the squad selection, we've got players that are coming in, and I think it's improved the the, the numbers that we have in our pathways. There's an extra 30, 35, 40 players that are playing at the top level of Super Rugby, uh, integrated into the guys that are already playing top level over here in Europe. Um, so bringing them together, it's a, it's a great mix. And but like I said, when we once we come into this environment, we're not the draw, we're not uh, our club teams, we're the flying pigeons. Uh, and that's our mindset. We've come together, we're very close, and we've, it's, a, it, it's obviously a benefit, but uh, I think you'll see the most benefits in probably five, seven years, maybe the next World Cup, the following World Cup. That's when you're going to have uh, these, these uh, boys that are playing there coming through in the next generation as well. So, Georgia, they have uh, pretty some uh, pretty unusual stats. Um, they have uh, the most uploads after um, three rounds of uh, this World Cup, <coughs> and uh, one of the teams with the least number of rucks. So, what does that tell you about this unit? Are, are you mixing things up now? No, oh, they're a very good team. They're they're fit. They've tried. They've obviously prepared well. They um, like I said, they're a very physical team. They love to play uh, with that physicality. 
uh, something that like we like to do as well. Um, so you, it's, um, I think we're in the similar stages of our development. We're in, um, looking to get further, move up further with bigger matches uh, outside the World Cup. Uh, so you know, we have the utmost respect for Georgia, what they're doing. Um, yeah, we, we understand it's going to be a very tough match. Sorry, on another note, um, just uh, Jinda and Bess, uh, are they okay? Yeah, they're okay. They're recovering. So, uh, due to his ankle, still a bit sore. Needs some a uh, little bit more time. Uh, he's in uh, uh, he's in medical uh, protocol at the moment with his ankle. Misaki came out of his HIA um, protocol yesterday, so he's he's back available for selection. Um, you talked during the press conferences about how you wanted your team to reconnect, um, about who they are, where they come from. Yep. Um, is this something that has always been natural for you to, to be able to unite uh, a team, to unite a player? Um, I think it's something that we've lost a little bit. I think we, because we come from different places, different clubs, Europe, Japan, Australia, the draw, sometimes we come in with only a week, one week's preparation and it's, you have your natural, your natural friends or something. So one of the things when I got the role, I wanted to really bring the boys together and make it a group. Uh, make it a flying PGS group, make it a, they, worked, what what was their purpose, why they're doing it, who they're doing it for, and that was one of my things, to try and cultivate that and try and bring that in, and I think they've taken that over. The, the culture, the leadership within the group is fantastic, led by led by Weiss, and it's, it's a really self-driven group at the moment, and we're there just to guide them along, and I think, uh, I think the more we develop that, the more more successful way. So yeah, it's been a real priority for us with all those things that you said. And I think when you were coaching in France, um, sometimes you were welcoming Fijian, new Fijian players, yep. uh, even at your place. Is this also part of your education and your culture? Yeah, I think with with, with Fiji, it's a very, I think the Pacific is very unique. Mm -hmm. It's a very uh, communal Way of uh, way of living and what what is mine is not just mine it's 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 ours so we share so when we when I lived in France I had lots of knocks on the doors <laughs> um, uh, is it available to can we have people come in and and we we always it's the same for the boys when we come down as the door is just a is just a, a door it's like to come into the into the family. So the Fijian community way of life is very we, we share things. So yeah, over the years, it's had quite a few for the boys living live in the house, but it's always a, it's always a, it's always a pleasure. You come to Fiji, they will receive you with your yeah. <laughs> so if you come to Fiji, we uh, if you come, you come stay at my house. <laughs> <laughs> So when was the exact time we played? It was 2021. So it's that was a difficult period. It was obviously with COVID. So it was a very, I think staff couldn't travel travel north, and we had to bring groups in. So I think both teams are more settled now because we've obviously had a good preparation. Um, I think both teams have developed and gotten better. So it's got to, it should be a really good match. I think it's a, two teams that, uh, like I said, physical. Uh, Ball, ball, ball play, and you saw last week uh, when Georgia played against uh, Portugal, like to play with the ball, got to the edges as well. So yeah, it's going to be a going to be a tough challenge. Any more questions? Yeah, just one more. Thank you, Coach and uh, Steve. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll send Weiss's I'll send Weiss's address. Uh, for <laughs> <laughs> you can stay with him in Toulon and uh, oh, Fiji. <laughs> 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 <laughs>